Let's see how to use a switch in UiPath on a string. First off, we'll drag in a sequence. We could call that sequence, well, switch string, because that's what it is. Set it as start node, double click it, and now we are ready to perform the activity. We'll write in an input dialog, so we'll have the user to type in something and then we'll decide if it matches our criteria with the switch. So let's have a look. That could be um, a capital uh, teller. So uh, the input here could be uh, what's the capital and the label could be put in a country. We'll store the output as a string, so control K, then we'll store it like this just to and then we'll change it down here to a string in the variables manager uh, just to show you uh, what this does if you're not familiar with it we run the file then the input dialog will show up um, and we can put in something well, right now it doesn't do anything because it's um, there's no more activities here so we'll add in the switch switch we'll drag it down here now we need to type in um, a VB expression and some cases um, for this so um, let's say that um, we want uh, this predictor to uh, tell the capital to the user so we cannot name every we cannot name every case because that's like a lot of countries so we'll just for the example this could be um, uh, in the expression, we want the uh, output from up here, so that will be string country, like this. Then um, we'll, um, we'll have to change uh, the expression out here in type argument, so we'll have to change that to a string, like this. Now we can add cases, so we could have a default case, which everything goes in, except if there is a case. Then this case could be like England. And this is if the user put in put in England up here, and then the the string will be stored in str country, and then um, the switch will land down here. We have to have an activity for that, so we could drag in a message box. That could be like um, the capital in in the country. I mean this. It's a bit redundant. We could have used just just typed in England here, but let's for their uh, good manners uh, use the variable name. The capital in England is London, like this. Then we could have a new case, like that could be Denmark, like this. We could drag in a message box and the same logic the capital in oh well let's use the variable uh, the capital in denmark is copenhagen i believe like this then we could uh, the default case i mean we we won't type every country in here so let's say that default could be Something like, that's where everything else goes if there's not a case for it. So this could be, I don't know what the capital in that particular country is like this. We'll save it and we are ready to roll. Let's check how that works. Your path will come up. Ask us for a country. Let's try Denmark first. The capital in Denmark is Copenhagen. Well, that worked fine. And of course it will do with England as well, but let's try to type in something else like USA or something. Um, and our uh, predictors should uh, tell us that it doesn't know. I don't know what the capital in USA is. So that's how you use switches with a string in UiPath.